YouTube, what's good? Your boy Protect Sports back with another video today. And today, let's preview Thursday Night Football, man. Um, Thursday Night Football, as you know, we have Rams Seahawks tomorrow at 8 20 p.m. Um, I want to put my picks on the blog this week. I won't put a video for my uh, for my pick'em. I usually would do that, but I'm gonna start that back next week. Um, due to me moving and stuff, I really don't have the time constraint to record that video. I recorded a bunch of content this week. So I doubt one will be on the blog. So the blog is also down in the description down below. Uh, go check that out. Um, there's a really nice Redskins article in there as well. And there will be much more content on there too. So um, go check out the blog down below. All right, so let's preview Thursday Night Football. Um, I'm gonna start with my, my predicted winner and why. And uh, I will give uh, keys to victory for both teams. Let's get into it. Seahawks win this game. Simply put, Seahawks win this game. I'm going to give you a final of 24-17. Yeah, 24-17. Um, I say that because the Rams offense ain't the same, man. Um, Some looks off of this Rams offense. Todd Gurley ain't right. Um, I, I think that knee's arthritic. Um, if, it, if it's arthritis in that knee, he'll never be the same ever again, unfortunately. Um, so I I don't think this Rams offense is the same. They they ran through Todd Gurley. Todd Gurley didn't get enough touches because of the arthritic knee, and it's not the same. I think that the uh, Seahawks will take advantage of that, um, just like the Bucks did last week and get a victory here. Um, that's that's one reason I got the, I, I got I, I I got the um Seahawks win this football game. Honestly, sorry. Um, so what in the something just look off. I'm sorry. Sorry, something just look off. Sorry about that. But um yeah, so that being said, Seahawks win this game. They're at home. They're the better quarterback in um in this matchup. Uh, I think their de the defense is about even, but I think the difference is that Todd Gurley ain't the same, and the Seahawks can run the football down get broke with Chris Carson and Rashad Penny and, and all those other guys that run the football, and um they can just control the clock, let Russell Wilson go flash and pass, and I'm just manage the game if they really want to take that route. All they can just go let Russell Wilson win the game for them too. So they're very versatile. Uh, I, I think that's the better football team and they're at home. So uh key to victory for the Seahawks. Get to Jared Goff. Um just just stop the run. I, I don't think Malcolm Brown's gonna be that big of a factor in this game. I do like Malcolm Brown as a as a as a running back overall, but I don't think he's gonna be a big factor in this specific football game. So if you lock down Malcolm Brown, um lock down Todd Gurdy on his limited touches, you stop him from running the football. You can get at Jared Goff. Jared Goff has been throwing picks. He's been throwing pick sixes. He's been, he's been looking bad. He's been looking bad this year overall. And I think if you get to Goff, Goff doesn't handle pressure well. Simply put. Also, um, jump on him early if you're the Seahawks. Uh, get up to an early 10 0 lead. Uh, get the crowd rocking. And I think that that will really, really put the Rams in a very, very tough position. Uh, also, run the football. Uh, run the football to create balance for Russ. So Russ wanted to worry about Aaron Donald coming at his neck every play. And um, if that's about it for the Seahawks, if you're the Rams, you're going to give Todd Gurley more touches. I don't know what's up with Todd Gurley, but you got to get Todd more touches in order for this offense to work and to work effectively. If not, Malcolm Brown's going to be the, the bell cow and give you 15 and 20 touches and be productive in those 15 and 20 touches. Um, Next. Yeah, I said offensive balance basically is that first key. Um, if it's not good, you gotta be Malcolm Brown doing that for them, for them to create that balance. Next, protect golf, man. Um, golf been under a little bit of pressure, and once he's under pressure, like I said about the Seahawks, key to victory, he doesn't look good under pressure. He throws a lot of interception, makes a lot of mistakes, and isn't the same quarterback. Point blank, period. Um, what else? And defensively. Get Aaron Donald one on one, uh, one on ones against these, against these uh, guards and uh, centers. He's been getting double teamed a lot. Um, I I need other guys like Michael Michael Brockers and all those guys to step up and to make plays. Um, since Aaron can't make those plays right now, it's like he's having a slow start right now to his to his season, and he's not getting on these getting on these blocks and getting TFLs and getting sacks. So I need the other guys to step up to make that happen. And the secondary has to be sound. That's my last uh, key for the um, Rams. Uh, Tyler Lockett and DK Metcalf is no joke. 
Uh, especially Ty Lockett, he can get behind your defense and make a lot of big plays. So Marcus Peters, be disciplined in your coverage. Um, you're playing cover three, play defense at the deepest. Make sure that you have that cushion in order to keep up with Tyler Lockett, as well as um, a key to leave if, if a key to leave is on, press him at the line of scrimmage, disrupt the route, disrupt um, the timing between Rick Wilson and Lockett, or even if it's Metcalf and Lockett. Just make sure you have that that timing disrupted with um, a good press at the line of scrimmage. Um, so I said I have Seahawks win this game, though. So as both teams keep the victory, um, now I'm going to get the X factors offensively. For the Rams, it has to be Malcolm Brown. If it's not Todd Gurley, I said Todd Gurley looks compromised. It ain't the same. That knee looks arthritic. So you need a guy like Malcolm Brown to step up and be your new Todd Gurley. Um, probably had the same impact, of course, because no one can have Todd Gurley's impact. But he has to get the same kind of workload and be effective as possible with that workload. Um, defensively, you got to get Aaron Donald. You got to get Aaron Donald going. Simply put, if Aaron Donald's not making plays, then his defense isn't quite the same. Um, simply put, offensively for the Seahawks, I think the um, the X factor for them will definitely probably be Chris Carson. He creates balance with the running the football. He has been kind of the bell cow the last couple of weeks. He's been getting with the majority of the touches. So I think he needs to continue to get those touches and be effective in the run game to allow Russell Wilson to not have to carry the team to victory. And also defensively, I think their um, X factor is Davion Clowney. Clowney had a, a huge play a couple weeks ago. He's been making some plays here and there. If he continues to do that and disrupt this Rams offense, the Rams are going to have a long day. Um, I thank you guys for watching. Um, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Also, um, like this video, share this video with your friends and family so you can always catch another Pro Tech Sports video. And also, um, I just thank you guys for all your support. I'm at 50 subscribers now, um, but we're on we're on nothing but up. We're going to keep going up, up to the moon. Don't keep grinding. Keep God first. You guys take it easy. Peace.